Berlin for orchids. Um, so we've been making a difference. Uh, I started my walk on June 26, and I'm doing it in collaboration with all the uh, YMCA's in Ontario. And so far, I've walked over 1,500 kilometers, and the uh, Comfort Inns have been uh, helping us uh, by giving us accommodations for the night uh, when we come through the community. And um, pr presently, uh, we uh, uh, were accommodated here in Simcoe by uh, Joan, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Carol. <laughs> and and uh, uh, we're hoping that we can do that in Bradford. Now, we're holding a, a press conference in Bradford at 3 o'clock at the YMCA. And we're going to have all the uh, uh, newspapers and the radio and the television people come out there. And the mayor also is going to be there. Uh, and, you know, as part of a, 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 an acknowledgement to, to uh, comfort, <coughs> we always make sure that the media knows uh, who, who's letting us stay at their place tonight. I know this yeah. is about two hours, really. Okay. Uh, just Her for the, uh, tonight, hours. and it'd be from me and my road manager. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They told me first I couldn't go on the waiting list because uh, uh, some diseases they, they, they think will come back. Oh, yeah, so if that's the case, then you won't be eligible to go on the waiting list. Oh, so yeah. that must be quite a scary period for you. It was, but yeah. you know, I went through a lot of acceptance. Yeah. And uh, yes. you know, I'm just leaving things in God's hands. Yes. That's the way it works. Yeah. Was this something you were born with? No, actually it was something I contacted when I was a teenager, but I, I didn't know until 20 years later. And that's the strangest things about, uh, well, liver diseases especially. There's a hundred different liver diseases. How about the symptoms that you have that made you None, I, I just went for my uh, regular medical checkup, yeah. and I was feeling okay. Yeah. And the doctor said there's something terribly wrong in your blood. And then I, I went for further checkups, and it was confirmed that, uh, uh, you know, uh, I had terminal liver disease. Yeah. So did you have pain on your, where your liver is or anything? Um, the only thing I kind of felt was tired, because uh, when your liver's not working uh, properly, it, it makes you really tired. Yes. But it wasn't like a real big symptom, you know, uh, because I was always very active. Yeah. You know, so, um, but after I was diagnosed, uh, it really started showing. Like, I really started getting, looking sicker, and, yeah. you know, and I really, it started really taking its toll. The, yes. the virus was starting to eat off everything, you know. So, are there any particular precautions you have to take now, like with eating or with that? You know, you can never be too safe. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you should always take precautions. Uh, but you just never know, you know. Yeah. So um, I was kind of stuck with a lot of anger too, you know, because I, I just didn't feel fair, you know. Yeah. But you, you know, I got through all that, yeah. and, and I, I accepted, uh, you know, and I, I just didn't feel anything. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's wonderful. That's yeah. yeah. So I, I want to like let everybody know this so that they can get into the spirit of. Yeah. 